Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I will show you the Sentinel ROM latest version, which is the 4.80. So, this ROM is also available for HTC One and uh, Nexus 4 and some other devices. So, what is new in this ROM is that this ROM comes with the updated Mali GPU graphics. So, uh, not like other AOSP ROMs, uh, this ROM has actually a better gaming performance just because of updated mm, GPU graphic drivers. So, the other thing that is uh, noticeable is that uh, the volume of this uh, volume of your phone on this ROM is actually uh, higher than the other AOSP ROMs. So, it is based on CM10.1, which means it is Android 4.2.2 ROM. So on lock screen we have different uh, uh, shortcuts here. We can have music, your phone, browser, messaging. So we can unlock here, and this is the one of the most smoothest and most fastest ROM I've ever used on my Galaxy S2. As you can see, it is all very much stable, and this is cool transition effect here. So this is a Sentinel Intel launcher. And now I'm going to show you in settings about phone. As you can see, it is Android 4.2.2. And also, one more thing you can install the uh, Sia Dominix kernel, uh, which is I have here the latest version of this kernel. And this supports the sending the ROM. And also, we have here the this is the ROM here, Senya the ROM 4.80, which is the latest. So, here we have you have to click uh, numerous times on the build number, and as you can see, you have enabled the development settings. Say you are a developer, as you can see, we have developer options. So, first of all, in this ROM, we have uh, themes, we have system, we have lock screen, we have launcher. So uh, we have the uh, Pi Control app here. Uh, let me show you here the LMT Pi Control app. Wait a minute, where's go? Uh, yeah, there, there it is, the LMT Pi Control app. So. I really don't know how to use this app uh, because uh, some it, there are some problems with this app, and if you don't uh, want the uh, the Pi controls, then you then there's no need uh, for you to uh, have this app. So this is uh, the feature, or you can say app that comes with this ROM as a default. And you can also download uh, themes from the Play Store, a lot of themes. And let's take you in the launcher. This is the Sentinel launcher uh, version 1.0. And we have different settings here, drawer settings. We can have transition effect. You can play with it. And also we have the home screen here. We can, uh, just like some of the options that you get on the Apex launcher is there, uh, which is pretty much nice. You can have also... Uh, here we have, we can also have enable the, uh, the orientation, horizontal or vertical. So I want to enable the vertical here. And as you can see, now I have a vertical scrolling, so that's pretty cool. And in terms of uh, the battery life, this phone is also uh, great. I'm using this phone for, for about two hours and I've got only 53% I installed the 60% battery and doesn't use the much Wi-Fi so let me show you here the battery here as you can see I'm a 2 hour 35 minutes 56 seconds of battery when I have like a 70% or 65% battery and now it's still on so in terms of battery life it's uh, pretty much neat so no more thing new but if you if you are a gaming lover and as we all know that the gaming is good on the stock ROM but if you want gaming on the AOSP ROM especially this ROM you have to uh, install the, the Sentinel ROM latest version for the Galaxy S2 and also install the Sierra kernel version 9.30 check out their website 
or Google them, Dominix, and their website will be there. And uh, download the latest version of the ROM, uh, uh, I mean kernel, which is the 9.40, and flash it on your Sentinel ROM as this ROM clearly sports. I don't have any reboots or anything, even at 1.6 gigahertz, I have no problems. This ROM comes with S tweaks. I mean, this kernel, when you install this kernel, you automatically will have the S tweaks, and it's working great, no problems. Like some users have reported that this app crashes, and that's not the case on my Galaxy S2. And you can hour clock it up to the uh, 1.6 gigahertz. So I recommend you to use that 1.3 gigahertz because in this way you will not drain your battery uh, all the way. And also you can change the voltages here. And the best thing I like about the SIA kernel is that the GPU you can hour clock the GPU to 520 megahertz and more up to 520 megahertz and you can also change the steps voltage and everything and also this ROM comes with a lot of sending of the long wallpapers as you can see we have different wallpapers here this is here let's check out this and that's pretty cool so do check this ROM out and also if you enjoy watching this video or this video helps out you then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and peace out